Intrinsic safety is one of the protection techniques used to ensure that an electrical device installed in a hazardous location cannot result in an explosion. The use of this technique will permit electrical equipment to be installed and used in locations with the most stringent requirements, Zone 0 or Zone 20 classified areas where flammable gases or dusts are present continuously. Let's look at an example. In this illustration, we have an electrical device installed in a Zone 0 hazardous area. This device is called an Intrinsically Safe Field Device, or simply an IS device. Is it safe to energize this IS device by connecting it directly to a power supply or a controller located in a non-hazardous area? Of course not, because the energy coming from the power supply to this IS device could cause an ignition in the hazardous location. How can we make this scenario safe? What's missing is an intrinsic safety barrier, called simply an intrinsically safe associated apparatus or an energy limiting device. The safety barrier keeps the thermal and electrical energy below that which could create an explosion. The combination of a safety barrier, IS device, and the connecting cables is called an intrinsically safe system. In such a system, it is necessary to consider the safety of each component of the system. The challenge is to correctly select and match the safety barrier with the IS device located in the hazardous area for a safe connection. The Haslock Directory Engineering team has created an easy-to-use tool called the Intrinsic Safety Wiki to help you identify the safety barrier that is safe to be connected to your intrinsically safe device. Simply fill in these fields and get the result. Let's look at an example. A gas quality measurement device, model gas QS static, manufactured by MEMS AG. This device is listed in the Haslock directory and is suitable for use in Zone 0 with valid IECEX and ATEX certificates. The entity parameters of this IS device are defined as Maximum input voltage, 28 volts. Maximum input current, 100 milliamps. Maximum input power, 650 milliwatts. Total internal capacitance, 63 nanofarads. And internal inductance, 143 microhenries. These entity parameters are listed on the device's IECEX and ATEC certificates, as well as the Haslock directory page for this product. In order to select a safety barrier that would make a safe connection that complies with the entity parameters concept, we need to ensure that the input voltage of the IS field device is greater than or equal to the output voltage of the safety barrier. The same relationship is true for current and power. The maximum equivalent internal capacitance of the intrinsically safe device must be less than or equal to the maximum allowed capacitance of the connected safety barrier. The same is true of the inductance value. To find a safety barrier that can make an intrinsically safe system with this gas quality measurement device, we input the entity parameters of the IS device in the fields provided in the Intrinsic Safety Wiki. Also, we need to add the length of cable that is required to connect the safety barrier and the IS device. Because the field wiring cables have capacitance and inductance values, these values must also be taken into account. In our example, we assume the connection cable is 30 meters long. Our wiki tool considers that cables have 200 picofarads per meter capacitance value and 1 microhenry per meter inductance value. The result is a list of safety barriers from the Haslock directory that can be safely matched and connected to this IS device, as per the entity parameters provided. You can also select three IS barriers from the search result and compare their technical characteristics such as gas group, temperature code, protection rated ambient temperature, as well as other product features. Please remember that the compatibility of the selected safety barrier with your IS field device regarding the gas group or dust groups and the equipment protection level or EPL should be verified. Please see the safety instruction in our Intrinsic Safety Wiki page and ask the Haslock Directory Engineering Team for support if you have any questions. Haslock Directory's Intrinsic Safety Wiki can save you time and help you find and select a safety barrier that matches your IS device and can be safely connected to it. Haslock Directory is a trusted source of information about Haslock products, manufacturers, and service providers. 
The directory team are pleased to help buyers of Haslock products find ones that will result in a safe IS system.